Now, one of the things that makes Avocode so awesome is its ability to export CSS code. So let's see how that's done. For example, let's take this button here. So we have a green button and we can click it and we can see the exact style of it with height, its background color, and also border radius. Now, if we click this little cog icon here, we can see that the preferred language that I've set here is SAS using Compass. And that's where this uh, mixing comes in because if you've ever used Compass before, border radius is a mixin which allows you to write CSS much faster basically. But if I were to change this to say bourbon, then instead of that include, I would get a simple border radius. If we change this to less, I will have a different syntax. So depending on whether you want to use preprocessors or not, uh, you can choose a different option here. But for now, I'm going to stick with SAS Compass. Now, once you select an element, you can copy its CSS, or you can simply use the shortcut Command Shift C. So select a layer, Command Shift C, code copied. And now you can paste it in your CSS document. Let's uh, take a look at this one, for example. Command Shift C, and it copied this CSS code. You can also right click on it, and you have the option of Copy SAS Compass. Now, what if you select multiple elements? Let's say you want to select these two layers. Well, Avocode will give you the code for both of them, separated by comments. So you can see the base text style, text style for get organized, text style for Acme, which is this bit right here, and then the text style for this bit. So that's pretty neat. Now, what you can do is go into settings and check selector here. And this will basically create selectors for your CSS. If you have a text layer like this one, for example, it's going to name it layer dash get organized, which are the first two words from the layer. This one will be layer unincredibly. And of course, you can rename these yourself later. Let's say, for example, that I'm selecting all of these. We have the first one, which is layer sign up, which is this text here. And then we have another selector for the fan, font family and font size, and then another one for the smaller text, another one for this input, and then if we go all the way down, we can find another one for this little disclaimer text right here. So this is a very powerful tool. And you can select all of these, you can select as many elements as you want, and then just copy or Command Shift C, and it's copied all of the code. Also, if you have text and you want to copy it as text, you can simply double click it and it copied the exact text or you can click this little button here or simply hit Command C. It does the exact same thing. Now, earlier I mentioned preprocessors like SAS and LESS. And if you've ever used preprocessors, you know that you can use variables. Avocode also gives you the option to create variables. So let's say, for example, that you have a CSS value that's used in more than one place. For example, a color. This one has the color of 1F, 1F, 1F. And this one has the exact same color. So when exporting CSS, instead of pasting this color multiple times, you can create a variable which will contain the 1F, 1F, 1F color. So what you can do is get the color picker, pick the color you want, and then go here, add as variable, and then let's call this heading color. If it's a color value, you can check this little mark here and then hit create variable. And now instead of that color code, you get this variable, which is very, very nice. And when you write your CSS, using a preprocessor, you can define your variables in one place. And then when you change their value, the same value is applied everywhere they are being used. So a very effective workflow. Now, if I select this bit, you'll see the color is also updated to the variable name. I can do the same, for example, for this uh, green color. So I can grab the color code from here, create a new variable, paste it in, mark it as a color, 
and let's call this small heading color and create variable. There's also a thing called replacement rules. So let's go ahead and add a variable, hit on the replace tab, and then this example shown here is actually a very good one. Replacement rules work when you want to replace a certain value with something else. For example, font weight. Instead of 400, you can display normal. So let's say font weight 700 replaced to font weight bold. And I'm going to create this rule. Now, whenever we see a font weight 700 in the CSS code, that 700 will be replaced by bold, just like we can see here. So font weight bold. If we delete this rule, you can see that it goes back to font weight 700. Now, before we end, I'd like to show you something else regarding the export rules. And if you remember the first time we exported a layer as an image, we were asked for the correct path. And once we created that first export, the path was automatically set as default. So now when we select a layer and we export it, Avacode knows exactly where to create that file. And in case you want to change it, you can click on the project settings and change it right here. You can choose a different export path. Now, once you do that, you can click this little button here that says get code. And this will basically get the HTML code for all of your images. You can also get the CSS just in case you want to use that image as a background. Now, you might have seen a different option here uh, that says image path prefix. So let's, for example, change this to IMG. And let's go back, get code. And you can see that now the SRC or the source for the image has this prefix. So if you are exporting your assets into a separate folder, for example, IMG or images or assets, whatever it is, you can set that field to include a prefix for when you get the code for the exported assets. So that's how you use Avacode. Now, there is one more thing I'd like to show you, keyboard shortcuts. As you may know, it's always recommended that we use the keyboard as often as possible. And Avacode offers some great keyboard shortcuts that will make your job a lot easier. You've already seen a couple so far, so let's have a look at a few more. The first one is for a new tab. So on the top here, you have the tab bar. And to create a new tab, you can hit Command T or Command N. Both of these work. And then you can choose uh, whatever content you see fit for that tab. So if, for example, you want to have the assets opened in one tab and the main file in another tab, well, simply hit Command T, select this one, and then you can switch between them. The next shortcut is for toggle settings. And that's simple. It's Command Comma. And this will basically show you the settings. And you can browse through the settings using this menu here on the left. You can even find uh, a list of all the shortcuts. The next one I want to show you is for toggling the fuzzy finder, and that's Command Shift P. Now, this acts like a shortcut to all the actions you can take in Avocode. So, for example, if you want to copy, you just type copy and you see a bunch of options like code copy, editor code copy copy as paragraph h1 h2 and so on and actually this brings me to another cool feature that i forgot to mention and that is copy as h1 or paragraph so let's say you have this text and let's actually enter the uh the layer mode here and you have this text and you want to copy it in html as an h1 so if you just double click it it's going to copy like this and let me see if I can bring this up, get organized with Acme Mail, exactly what it says. But if I right click it and I copy H1 and then I paste it in, you're going to see that it's copied inside H1 markup. And the same goes for this one. Let's say we want it as an H3. Copy that and now it's in H3 tags. That is very, very cool. 
And you can do the same. For example, you can select this layer. You can hit Command Shift P and copy as H3. And it does the same thing. Another shortcut is for toggling panels. And I'm talking about the panels on the left and the right side. So if I hit Tab, these will disappear, giving me a larger view on my document. It's very good for when you want to present a document to someone. Hitting Tab again brings them back up. The final shortcut I want to show you refers to export rules. So the first thing you can do is uh, create a screenshot of the current document using Command P. So Command P, it automatically exports it to the current document, as you can see right here. Or maybe you want to grab a screenshot of the assets here. So Command P again, and you get a screenshot of the assets page. Next, uh, what if you select multiple layers? For example, you select all of these and you want to export them. Well, you can hit Command S, let's say colors. And that will uh, create an image of those four layers and export it as colors PNG. Finally, let's say you want to export this image as a 1x PNG and then these two as 50% JPEGs. Well, instead of having to click on each one and then exporting, you can hit Command Shift E and that will export all rules, including the ones you created before. So hit OK and you can see four images were exported, the colors and then this one, a half size and these other two. And as I said, you can find the shortcuts in settings right here or if you want quick access to them, simply hit the question mark like this. And that's it for this tutorial on Avacode. In my opinion, it's a great app for designers, but especially for developers since they can migrate uh, a design very easily from Photoshop or sketch files into code. And also it offers very good communication between uh, developers and designers. With that said, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I'm Adi Pordillo and have a great day.